Hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome back to another round of Nomad Survival. I gotta do another episode, I can't not. Let's try 50% speed. I'm gonna stick to double EXP mode for a while. Just because, one, I wanna mess with all the cool stuff. Two, uh, I get the feeling I'm gonna get crushed if I don't. Alright, so what do we got? We wanna go for a character that specifically gets bonus. Well, we want Psychokinesis no matter what. That's like... Frankly, at least until we get the meta progression upgrades, probably going to remain one of the most necessary things to grab. Now we've tried Magic Missile and Fireball. Both are kind of okay. But I'm going to do the Fireball anyway. We want to go for a heavy projectile duplicator run. I don't care too much about my own ability. Ooh, Lightning Strike. Tempting, 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 tempting. And I mean, there's also Energy Wave. But yeah, let's do Lightning Strike. We just want to grab a couple of these if I can. I appreciate that it's not the same pattern as the whip. Uh, let's see, Great Divider, we've done. It's still not bad, but Dancing Dagger? Dancing Dagger. Okay, so the Dancing Dagger looks like it might be kind of the bone, but not quite. Uh, let's see, Critical Damage, Ascension. We know Ascension's kind of good. I don't know about Archery. Let's re-roll, see what we get. Passive enchantment, extra damage, it's pretty good. Buckler, brr, bu, 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 bu. study, EXP, sure. There we go. Okay, wait. Oh, there's a different chain lightning. There's the one that attacks like random targets, and then there's the one that bounces between enemies. Whoops, picked the wrong one. Oh well. Uh, it's see. Bonus damage, bonus bounces. I'm not actually sure if upgrading the dagger is really worth it at the moment. So I was looking some stuff up, and apparently at level 5 for every upgrade, that's when you get the interesting evolutions. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's satisfying. I think right now I'm just going to kind of collect a bunch of random, random moves. And see if I can increase my attack speed, too. Maybe. Oh, we're just going to end up with a bunch of daggers here. And we also want duplication. More more projectiles, the better. Uh, it's Spectral Sword. Don't really care too much. It's not necessarily terrible. There's also skill duration, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to benefit from that. I would love a verbose mode on games like this. I feel like that would actually have some really nice effects. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shield, lightning strike. Number of lightning strikes, base damage. Sure. I'm just going to be here. I'm going to use this this swing as well as I can. Entangled? No. Magic missile? It's tempting. But let's do chain light shock. I swear there was an upgrade that actually affected... Uh, let's see. That actually affected, like, cooldowns and reduced them. I don't know. Maybe it'll show up. Maybe it won't. Ah, uh, let's see. Lightning strike? Sure. I'm just here to get as big of guns as possible. This is going to be a much more, like, regularly aggressive build than the last one, which could be really good or it could end up kind of petering out and I'm not really sure where, it, where it's going to go. Now, the lightning strikes are solid. They come about as quickly as the blood, blood explosion, which is a little bit of a downer. But that's okay. Oh, it's so nice to actually have just a slight amount of health regen. It's not huge, but it's enough that I can take a smidge of damage and not have it be uh, disastrous. There we go. I don't remember. Is this the 50% speed? Might be. Okay. Let's see. Where are we? I wanted to try the Spectral Bow. Fires, Prison, Projectiles, amount only modifies arrows. I'd like to get the rest- oh wait no, duplication. Even more valuable. Currently useless. Later, incredible. I hope. We don't even, we don't even know uh, what's going to be different, different once I hit like chests and stuff. Okay. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna grab whatever I can. Let's see. We've got just a little bit of pickup range, so this isn't too bad. Any of these? No. 
Death Sting sounds really interesting. And there is also Icicle Barrage. But I've already got five. I don't want to mess with it too much. Let's get the next level of Chain Light Shock. Not really that necessary at the moment, admittedly. We're not getting mobbed too much. Hopefully there's kind of harder difficulties that give us more enemies and more levels. Uh, kind of? I mean, later on it's going to get pretty dicey, so maybe maybe I'm I'm asking for uh, Smackdown. Skill, dura uh, skill duration, Arc Flash, 50% size. That's interesting. What does that even mean? In the context of a lightning, like a chain lightning move. I guess we'll find out when it when it goes off. You know, I'm just gonna go grab this. Yeah, I can mess around with like a directional. I'm just gonna smack this. Oh, our uh, our ability has evolved, so now it's actually hitting both sides now. That's kind of appreciated. Hey, we got it open. And the answer is Fireball Speed Doubled. Well, we did pick up Fireball. It's not particularly amazing given the situation, but still kind of useful. More EXP gain. I don't think it actually has a special ability. Kind of like pick up. I could be wrong. I would definitely love to see uh, maybe a little bit of choice with some of those. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to keep investing in EXP gain regardless of whether or not I really need it at the moment. The more I get it now, the faster I level up now, the stronger we are once we hit the end game. It's investing-ish. Uh, let's see. Nothing here. Boy, we are just getting nothing but study perks. And I sure, why not? Okay, Chain Light Shock. Keep producing that cooldown? Yeah, I'll do it. I still thought there was a perk that specifically reduced, uh, like, global cooldowns. Uh, let's see. There must, but I don't know. Okay. Boss is a little mean. But he's already dead. Wow, that worked out. I think my last run was just uh, not quite aggressive enough. Had some cool combos, worked well enough. And what do we get? Energy wave, speed doubled. Eh, it's okay. I'm just gonna hang out. Uh, let's see, do we wanna just get chain light shock? No, passive study. Gonna max that out. I wanna max out chain light uh light shock. But that can come later. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is some friendship. There we go. Not seeing any chain lightning though. Okay. Uh skill duration, but that's still not it. Yeah, okay. Born chain light shock. That's effective. Not any of these. Yeah, we'll upgrade. We'll start upgrading the fireball. I want to mess with that bow. And I want more duplication. Let's see. Yeah, I'll invest in fireball. Because I don't want to waste, like, a ton of rerolls looking for the next level of duplication. Nice as it might be. Okay, plus one amount. Next level... Oh, I see. So, duplication, 50% of the levels are actually just useless. Kind of figured as much. Alright, keep going on Chain Light Shock. Yeah. I'm just going to invest in that one kind of hard. I rather... Oh, the lighting on that is actually really solid. Okay, do we want to go for the item pickup range? Yeah. Especially in the dark, it's going to be kind of hard to see some things. So plus one, uh, plus zero, next level. Yeah, so duplication, uh, half the levels are useless, but the benefits are very worthwhile. 
Curious Wisp Spectral Bow. Unleash a secondary string of lightning with half the bounce bounces. That's what I was looking for. Uh, let's keep doing pickup. Okay, keep doing pickup range. Because at this point, we're going to start hitting the point where it's amazingly helpful. Kind of. But this run seems to be kind of a complete banger. So maybe it's just had to pick the right things. <sighs> Knockback power. I really didn't find some more things that that applies to. Do we want to keep leveling up just the lightning strikes? Yes. Might as well. All right, let's start heading down here. Yeah, we might as well grab we might as well grab every one of these even if they've been kind of hit and miss wow I mean admittedly I'm I'm moving to a new area but my uh my abilities really do actually seem to be just clobbering through enemies pretty quickly I think last last run was just bad <laughs> and you know what I'll take that. I kind of like the knowledge that like my last run was terrible, which is why it was hard. I still got a win. Didn't really matter to me. This means I can just keep optimizing. I mean, the main thing about these games is it's not skill. It's rarely skill. It's almost always just personal knowledge that carries you forward. And Tangle, don't care too much. Plus three number of daggers. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Enjoy my dagger barrage. Yeah, it really is the bones. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's start investing hard into daggers for the time being, I guess. Oh, there was an enemy there. Oh! Wait, there must have been a new update today. Or something replacing the purple barricades with, uh, effectively swamp. Okay, crit chance. I mean, it's kind of tempting. Lightning strike. I'm definitely still getting a little bit more mobbed here. But it's still not that bad. Dancing dagger. Absolutely. I think the one difference here, plus one amount. Yes. Oh! And yeah, the amounts do affect my, my slash. Seems to be working fabulously well. Moving speed, ascension, energy wave, nah. Keep going EXP gain. Uh, let's see. Critical damage. None of these. I guess I'll just do lightning damage. There we go. Let's keep upping my pickup radius. I was hoping I could get it to be a little bit better, but the answer is a uh, big no. And yeah, let's just invest in daggers pretty hard. The more projectile spam I've got going for me, the better. Uh, hopefully we find a, a tract orb at some point. To just glom all of these things, uh, all of these EXP bits into me. Okay, what do we have? Fireball? Sure. I haven't really been investing into it, but yeah, with the triple shot, it's pretty good. I think most enemies just aren't clustered enough to really make the fireball worth it. Oh, we got this guy again. Oof. Okay, we do have to worry, we have to worry a lot about contact damage, because I have not invested into my health nearly as aggressively. Oh, well, that solves that problem. I haven't invested into my health quite as aggressively as the last run. I have that 3 HP regen, and that's generally good enough for the run, but once things start getting dicey, then I'm in trouble. Same thing with movement speed. I haven't invested in that either. But I don't really believe you need much, frankly. 
Chris Lloyd's chest has appeared. Where? Oh, it's there on the left. Infernal ray rotation speed increased. I might have to put one point in that just to see what happens. There it is. Uh, let's see. Pickup range? Yes. I, okay, I'm gonna try it. We'll see what happens. Oh. That's what that does. It's, okay, so it's not really worth investing in at this point. Uh, fun for kind of the visual of it, but it's not affected by duplication. Which inherently just kind of disqualifies it. But it is fun to look at. I'll give it that. Explo explosion radius is double. Rad. Okay. The flies are getting a little closer, close for comfort. Lightning bolt. Bonus damage. Hell yeah. Next level of duplication. And this very much is a run to benefit from Titan's duplication. Don't care too much about space. Or space size. I wonder if it would affect the beam. I hope so. I feel like it would be pretty primo to have it just like make the beam huge. Uh, let's see. Extra duration, extra rotation speed. Interesting and tempting, but just hard to care. Uh, let's see. Item pickup. Oh, there was a dagger upgrade there. I guess I'll grab this. Yeah, the lightning with the duplicator has actually been pretty damn solid. A number of these have been. There we go. Okay. None of these. Passive study. At some point, some of these are going to hit level 9. Still messes me up a little bit that the first level of everything is actually just level 0. Makes sense, but it's so hard for me to wrap my head around that. Maybe not wrap my head around it, but you know, it's just like, oh yeah, you invest a point into it, that's level one. The answer is no. It's level zero. Okay. Well, still in a good spot. I really also appreciate, uh, the fact that these games have a time limit of half an hour. I I complimented Vampire Survivors for that, but that same compliment kind of applies here too. Too many roguelikes are long in a bad way. And I, I absolutely adore roguelikes that are much shorter. Um, and, you know, honestly, there are benefits to a long run. Uh, you know, you can get further in, you can mess with your your build some more, and like, I don't really get my full builds until maybe minute 25 on these rounds, so it's a little bit of a shame to lose it. Plus one amount skill instances, sure. I mean, why not? I was really hoping that would actually affect the beam. How great would it be if I had like seven beams just rotating around me like mad? Alas. Either way, um, but like half an hour is such a good like just kind of break, you know, it's like, oh, I'm waiting for dinner to be done. All right, I'll just record an episode of this. Oh, you know, wholesome verse starts in half an hour. What do I do? And I'll do a run of this. Uh, let's see. Lightning impact has a chance to trigger an unmodified chain light shock. Interesting. Well, that's going to get really silly. Holy shit, look at it go. I wish it didn't trigger an unmodified one. I I wish if you had both, it would it would let you synergize the two together. Because I think that would be amazing. But it would also be busted strong. Oh, crystallized chest has appeared. Back in this corner again. To my hole I go. Uh, let's see. Movement speed? Nah. 
energy wave. Yep. I want things that are are beneficially affected by the duplicator. That's the entire point of this run. Holy shit, that is so solid. <laughs> Like, the beam is satisfying, but watching those go is special. Oh, please give me Curious Wisps. Mm, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick one up, but... Let's go Dagger. Problem is the bounces don't affect things as nicely. Oh, there's a boss over here. I guess I should go do a big murder on it. Oh, boss. Try the rotating wisp. Okay, so the rotating wisp is also super. <laughs> Holy shit, it's gone. Entangled, don't care too much. Now, the, do the curious wisps have a duration? Well, they seem to be coming back into me. Nope, they just go right back out. Wow, okay, those that's solid. A really good, really good accompaniment to the Paladin dude, probably. Because I definitely want to do a living wrecking ball build at some point. And see how viable that is. I like the fact that it goes in and out, actually. I, I think that's really cool. Uh, let's see. Magic Missile. Icicle Barrage. Master Assassin. 50% chance to create an additional dagger on hit. Dagger only hits once. I'll do it. It is actually a bit of a shame, though. I, like, want more of these perks. Like, this game needs a mode where you, you gain more, even more EXP, but it's even harder. Like, that's, that's what these games maybe need? Maybe. It's hard to tell. So I realized, like, if I had more of everything, that I'd be even more absurd. And how do you balance around that? I don't know, but the desire is still there. Let's see, do I even care for the item pickup range at this point? No, but I'm going to grab it because it's shiny. Yeah, I can probably just hang out here. I'm not actually sure how in danger I am. It's a cacophony. Uh, let's see. Icicle Barrage is kind of tempting. Great Divider is certainly interesting, but it's a little too late to invest into. Energy Wave, make it bigger. Uh, let's see. Fireball. I forgot I was kind of investing into that. Wow. <laughs> this got stupid. I just... It's just numbers, man. <laughs> it, uh, let's see. Keep investing in Fireball? Yeah, while well, we're here. I... I'm just along for the ride. Fireball, Razor Shrapnel, Explosion Unleashes 3, not modifiable, piercing, short-lived projectiles. Sure, why not? I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see, what do we even invest into? Probably the wave. Size plus 10%, which really makes me want to do a big AoE move. Uh, a rebuild at some point. I'm not entirely sure how I'd work with it. The problem is the waves are a little inconsistent. Like, they don't pop up that often, so it's not like they're hugely useful. Ah, uh, do we just pick up the spectral bow just to see what it looks like? Hmm, not bad. Even a level one is pretty good. I'm giving it the duplicators kind of handy. I think it does a lot of damage. It's really hard to tell. It's almost impossible for me to keep track of all of these things. Let's see, Great Divider. I think I could invest into that. Come on, let me level my wave up. I got 68 rerolls. You will let me re-roll my wave. 
Not my beam, not my bow, my wave. Ah, fine, curious, curious wisp, why not? Uh, let's see. We got a chest over here. Well, I might have to turn the sound effects off on this game. I just don't foresee myself being able to stand it after a certain fashion. All right, let's just hang out, cook this. Uh, let's see. Hey, wave knockback power, fifteen percent. Sure, is effective, but I don't really need it to be. Come on, give me wave. Secondary set of waves is created. Oh baby, oh baby, that's some good shit right there. <laughs> it just feels like uh, like. A bunch of F-Zero cars are just running shit over. It's great. Okay, wave size 10%, absolutely. Unfortunately, I get the distinct feeling, I might be able to get, get my wave up to max level. I'd certainly appreciate it if I could. I deserve it. 10%, I mean, what, three more levels? It's possible. There we go. Because, yeah, that, that wave attack is, like, actually pretty banger. I don't think it's actually as good as some of the other attacks I have, but it's really hard to... It's really hard to check. Uh, let's see. Knockback power. Well. At least it seems particularly forthcoming here. Oh, yes. Give me. Give me the frogs. Last run, I had to fear the frogs. This time, the frogs are nothing but fodder before me. Come on. There's my big beam. And that's kind of nice, but... There it is. 10% plus 2 base damage. Hell yeah. Oh, it's big. And I, I haven't even invested into size. I could make them 50% bigger. Or more, I guess, considering the meta progression. There it is. Plus 3 number of energy waves. Hell yeah. Get them, suckers! I know, we might want to just start investing into size more than anything else. Skill size! It's like the game heard me. It knew. It knows! Okay, I did take like 252 damage there somehow, and I'm not really sure why. Oh, size even affects the orbs. Yeah, that's the good, that's the good shit. Okay. Projectile speed, infernal ray. I keep seeing skill duration. I'm like, oh, cooldown. But no, size. It does affect the knife sizes too. I think it just doesn't really affect. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is so freaking gnarly, man. Let's just keep in investing in that because it gets it's so stupid. I was expecting there'd be like a warning, like there's a boss coming. Cause last time it warned me. Oh it's not it doesn't go up to fifty percent. There it is. It goes up to a hundred percent extra size. There it is. There's the powerful creature. Don't stop throwing the frogs at me. No, I need them. Well, now there's like a handful. It's fine. It's... It's absolutely fine. I just... You know. I just want more. Ah! And a yawn. That's what I also want. You're, I'm yawning, you're yawning now. Leave a comment below if you yawned. <laughs> It could happen. I It's definitely happened a couple of times where I like watch another creator and they yawn and I'm just like, all right, time for me to yawn too. Okay. So immediate problem is I am dying. I'm 
Never mind. Holy shit. <laughs> so Chain Light Shock uh, actually remained probably one of the best things. I didn't really see it going off, to be honest, but 25,000 DPS there. Dang. I, Dancing Dagger and Energy Wave, also pretty solid. Uh, Lightning Strike and Fireball, less so. And I kind of had them, I don't know. Uh, let's see, and I was at 1.5 times game speed, which actually felt really good. I'll have to try even higher game speed, because I want to say more enemies spawn at the faster speed, but I could be wrong. I mean, it, it certainly feels like it, because if the game is going that much faster, then more enemies might be spawning and dying? I am not sure. It doesn't really matter. Let's buy some upgrades. So, HP and SP regen were actually pretty solid there. Movement speed, we didn't actually need much more. Cooldown suddenly becomes a lot more valuable. Uh, same thing with the rare item percentage. Because um, most of the rest of these things we can upgrade. There is also a mount uh, that I can just increase the base amount by one, which is actually really good just baseline. It would cost me almost all my gold, but we're going to do it. And we can still invest one point into cooldown. Rad. All right. Well, I think that was a very solid run, all things considered. We we got absolutely nutty there. We're definitely going to have to do some rounds uh, on not double EXP mode, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but I think for now, I'm probably going to stick to double EXP mode, mostly to get as much gold as possible uh, with winning runs. And then eventually, once a lot of these are maxed out, especially the EXP bonus, Oh, but that only goes up to a 25%. Eh, whatever. Even then, with all these these levels, it'll offset the, the loss in EXP. Uh, and who knows, maybe even uh, super game speed mode. Uh, maybe this will also offset the EXP. I'll have to do some science. I didn't see, like, a level number there, but I haven't been paying attention, too much attention to the UI. Either way, that was a lot of fun. And I will see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Survival. So thanks for watching. See you then.